fantastic, <laughs> glorious. I love it. It's great. That one looks nice, man. So shouts to them. I gotta get some beast sprites, man. I, I always see people wearing them around their neck, and I always feel bad that I don't have any myself. So maybe I'll hit up them. At first, I was like, and what am I gonna do? Get one? Like, get like a chic one? Then like, yo, give me breaks and everything, just right now. <laughs> <laughs> but now we got. The match I've actually been waiting for more than anything else in top eight really? was uh, Roxo and Bad Luck. Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> is the man himself, Roxo, the Garchomp um, aficionado. Look at this. You can see his face already. Bro, he's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Mad Luck too. Is very I, like I, yeah, Mad Luck kind of plays the same way. They just they just go in. So there's, only, there's only like you know there's like there's an in setting and out setting like you play defense. They just they're just in and stuck on in. This uh, this should be a really interesting matchup between these two player styles. All right, so I have these two. Uh, do you know off the top of your head? Have these two played in terms? Uh, these two, okay. So a lot of people at this local actually go to the local I attend uh, at Hitbox yeah, Arena, and that would be Mad Luck, um, Broxo, Mi uh, Catfight, and Cloud. Okay, so uh, but these two have they played before? Yes. And what is the record like between these two? Broxo usually wins. Okay, I can imagine. I mean, Gengar with that low health, and Geng and uh, Garchomp with the ridiculous damage output. Getting hit once by Garchomp is pretty much half of Gengar's health. So. Uh, we'll see though. We've saw crazier things today. We saw Catfight take it over uh, Mins, who he usually loses to. So and we saw um, PK Sparks put the stop to that uh, almost uh, reverse 3-0. Yeah. Not gonna go with that Shadow Ball. Just gonna stop him in place. Ghost that Dick tries to go for some sort of slice afterward, and that homing attack does get him out. Oh, and just all the buttons being pressed right now. <laughs> oh, that kick. This combo is actually uh, hard to time. Yeah, fact, <laughs> I'll get that. I'll say that one thing about Gengar. Uh, a lot of his combos are not actually easy to do. So even though they are, they look really crazy. It's not very easy. And this is this is unbelievable. I can't even begin to commentate this match. They're just going. It's one going left and right. I haven't seen the guard button once. <laughs> I think, I think they've unset their guard button to uh, and just set the counter attack. Basically, <laughs> 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 this like is the craziest match I've ever seen in my life. Miss Magus on deck, and get that attack buff. Oh, especially his Garchomp. Jeez. Oh, this is going to be quite some damage. Of course, in that one early. Go oh, misses that grab setup. A good forward dash from <laughs> Magla. What's going on right now? <laughs> Scooby. Great. Confirm to the mid-screen knockdown. Oh, oh, forward dash wow. through the Earthquake. I've actually never seen that before. Great thought, timing and great awareness by Mad Luck. I thought Earthquake's active hitboxes would have hit him out. I thought it was going to also, but it worked out for perfectly. Oh no, he tried to go home again. Yeah, he, stone he went right into that Shadow Ball. But ends up getting the Stone Edge anyway. I like this assist too, because it kind of keeps you in block. You don't really want to press any buttons on I it. I don't but think it's going to keep him in block for long. <laughs> <laughs> en enough for Garchomp to get close to you. <laughs> Oh, they are both just going in. So many things are happening on the screen. <laughs> and this is truly poking at its finest. Like that, oh, that earthquake. Yeah, Mad Luck is being very aware of being able to just uh, dash out using the invincibility that Gengar has to get out of a lot of these traps that usually would catch a lot of people. Oh, see? Like Shadow Sneak getting in a lot of situations. And once again, we see the forward dash through Earthquake. Oh, Sludge Bomb. Who uses Sludge Bomb? <laughs> he does. He uses it to cross up, too. Oh my goodness, this is one of the best matches I've ever watched. Patches him out of the air. Just rush down you need. And there it is. The Mega Gengar, best character in the game. And now Roxo in a bad situation, because this is could possibly be the final round of this match. There we go. Pop nice. Him first himself. So now Mad Luck has to be pretty careful if he does get hit by this first attack. Oh, trying to jump over the Shadow Ball, not going to do it. Wow, oh he actually gets the super hit. It, uh, that's just gonna go out of time. There's no way, no possible way Garchomp can do the damage he needs to do. Uh, I've seen crazier things, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll just get the kill anyway. Wow. <laughs> Mad Luck being fantastic at getting Roxo. I mean, I, I, want to, I want to see Roxo do a lot of more Roxo things. But sometimes when you see someone just out, like, just like I know you're gonna do a hit here. That was I use my invincibility to just get in on the moves that you're trying to put me in block in. That was such a ridiculous match to watch. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, though.
Still in the Dismages. Dismages. Trapped again by these Shadow Balls, doing very good spacing. I like how he, tick he did like a tick hypnosis behind the Shadow Ball, just gives you close enough. Okay, back into the counter attack. Oh, this confirm, okay. Good damn. I think he's trying no more of the reset situations because how quick Gengar can get out of them. So he's just going for confirmed, like things that he knows that works. Another sludge bomb. Another she jumps into it, and yeah. that's oh, that's a shame. I wonder, do you get the uh, the debuff from Sludge Bomb on block? I'm not entirely sure about that. One. I don't think so. Also, I was wearing a, a. I was curious about the Cresselia he used because he used it and didn't gain any health back. Oh, I didn't see. He might have. Did he have any white health? No. Oh, that's why it only recovers white health. Okay, very much. I uh, wish this is Mark. Great confirm. And now Miss Magus is on deck. Wow. <laughs> Seems like Madlock tried to grab on that wake up. Oh no, goes right into curse. That's the wake up situation, just teleports back beams. And still caught. I've never seen a Gengar player get synergy burst in round one before, ever. So, <laughs> amazing play by Madlock. Uh, that really goes to show how many, honestly, how many buttons he's pressing because you, you get more meter the more Pokemon attacks you do. So he's been doing a lot of Pokemon attacks. Yeah, a lot of them are mostly from, uh, like, oh, Curse does a lot when you get Curse. Yeah, Curse does a lot. And, uh, Sludge Bomb does a pretty decent amount, also. Now Roxo's going ham. But his mage is trying to do something on Wake Up. And Roxo in control of this round, it seems, for now. But how long is it going to last? Oh, that Astonish getting him out. You yeah. gotta go release that right for the punches. That's... Oh, no, uh, I guess somehow but he, out of the start. he still gets out of it anyway. <laughs> he's gonna get grabbed. Gengar has so many unbelievable cancels that just get him out of situations that most characters can't do anything about. He does have there are very obvious spots in which to hit him, and it's very hard to like recognize when they happen because he can just shadow sneak out and yeah. then catch you in a lot shadow of stealth. Life. Shadow stealth. That's <laughs> correct. Ooh, switching the assist over to Nine Tails. I like that one more, because uh, once uh, he gets Gengar in the corner, Gengar has a very hard time getting out, because you can't just do anything. But you have to be invincible frame one to get out. Yeah. Which is great. Just help me heck out of that hypnosis setup. Gengar hasn't gotten a grab once. Because everybody's pressing buttons. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's pressing one, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> that hypnosis was... questionable. Oh no. I do like the use of Shadow Ball to pretty much be there when um, Rockstar chooses to dig. Can't really avoid the Shadow Ball like that. But now we both got Synergy up, and this is the end. It is the uh, end of uh, the, the set almost. So whoever basically gets that Super Rose have all the momentum they need. That great teleport into Laser, and it's so hard to deal with Gengar when he's like this. I think Madlock's just going to try and get as much tip damage as possible. That Night Tails is good, gonna get locked that out. And that's gonna put hit him into it. Roxo now has the advantage situation here. Yeah, Gengar with small debuff to his attack. Oh, backdash is out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised that grab works. He looked like Roxo he has like it. one move to do, and then he'll catch anything. Because look at the. Oh, boy, look at the time. Oh, no. Yeah, so grab would have been enough. Oh, Rusher Ram just gets cut out. <laughs> Bye, Rusher Ram. <laughs> you, you had your moment of fame. So Madlug looks like uh, he's in control of the set thus far, but the, the stuff that's happening on screen. Yeah, Ra Roxo's going to need to change up his entire game. Uh, I have to be aware of that. Uh, Madlug's basically looking for all these buttons that are going to be pressed out. It's going to Shadow Stealth out. You can't punish Shadow Stealth if you know it's going to come. Yeah. I think Roxo, like you said, is just having a hard time dealing with the amount of teleports and cancels that Gengar has. Oh, by that, uh, he's really about to get uh, camped by uh, camped by Garchomp. <laughs> That's Gengar, come on. Yeah, I don't see him using Shadow Punch at all in, in Guild Phase. I feel like that's one of Gengar's strongest tools in Guild Phase and why a lot of characters have a hard time doing him. That critical hit. Hit him with the left hook and the right hook. <laughs> I think it's just like four left hooks, actually. <laughs> I love the left hook four times. <laughs> this combo damage. Yeah, great Ridiculous. damage. Of course, that's Gengar on top of that having, even, you know, having low health. You can't take too many of those. Look at that, yeah, there's no... Yeah, you're not going to get any health back. 
That was that was pretty, that's pretty risky because you don't have the invincibility, you know, post patch now. So wow, knocks him out of that, but can't follow up. He's gonna get caught on the whiff. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why he looked, he looked like he had more recovery from that attack than usual. Oh, the shadow punch. There we go. Saw it in field phase. Did any sort of laggy move is gonna push him in the situation. Yeah, finally using that take advantage of the shadow punch. And once again, we see Gengar getting synergy burst in round one. This is mind blowing because I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> all the hits going on. There's just no buffs. It's just, <laughs> just hits. I also think he gets it for every time he gets hit by shadow, uh, shadow ball. And that critical hit hypnosis is gonna take that. Oh, we got hit the other direction. <laughs> yeah, it looked like one of those Mortal Kombat uppercuts that just send you in the opposite direction sometimes. Marks of them is Magius. Tries to go for that uh, side projectile to go around the Shadow Ball so it doesn't lose uh, from you know durability. And again, <laughs> the up Y just <laughs> doing some weird stuff. It might that might actually connect. Uh, wow, or nope. just super, which means you could have blocked. So the way Cresselia worked before, you had invincibility while she pretty much while before she oh, came out. Oh boy! No, wow. He's, he can shut stuff out, no, or just, just grab. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna do a lot of damage, but not gonna kill him. Or not gonna KO him. Great damage. Still in burst mode. The great thing about uh, Mega Gengar is after you use your burst attack, you're still the best character in the game. Now take it, Roxo. 3-0, our first 3-0 of top 8. And honestly, Mega Gengar, I wouldn't feel bad about it. <laughs> hey, hey, Mad Luck was doing fantastic. It's really easy Roxo to lose to Mega Gengar. <laughs> Look, you see Roxo just like, oh. Now he, I mean, he played his heart out. He played really well, too, but I think his playstyle... I, I like you. You said that uh, he usually wins, right? Yeah, this I is would, actually like. I feel like his playstyle is like, just not, work, 